Hello everyone, my name is Dominic Butler and I am the lead game designer on Ghost Recon Wildlands. Let's jump right into the action and see our ghosts finishing their current mission. Keep moving. Hua! See if you can find Swenio's Bible around here. La Sintera is supposed to be helping him write it. We got more tangos rolling up. There it is. Good job, people. Stealing their Bible ought to piss off Lesson Terra and Sueño. Let's take off. Tango up ahead. Open fire. I'm moving. Cover me. Today we want to give you a glimpse into how our game will play in solo. Frag out. Right now, a developer from the team is playing the game. He's just finished a mission in the province of Espiritu Santo, one of the 21 provinces in the game. Playing solo, you will always have three AI teammates backing you up, assisting you in the battle. Opening our TAC map, we can see there are a lot of activities available. However, the player wants to explore a new province and is heading towards a rally point in Monte Punku. As he takes off, we can see the stormy night slowly give way to a beautiful sunrise. This is part of the game's seamless day and night cycle and weather system. Since this is a solo walkthrough, let's listen to how the ghosts interact with each other and the world around them. Got movement on the road. Looks like a cartel resupply convoy. Congratulations. Thanks to you, La Santera's world has been fucked raw. Word is Sueño's most pissed about her losing his Bible, calling it a mortal sin. He's got her locked, and he's planning a public execution. So we're done here, correct? Negative. We've done a number on La Santera's credibility. Imagine how Sueño will look if you blow his big PR stunt. You want us to save La Santera? I want you to save La Santera. Bowman out. The player has just unlocked Espiritu Santo's final mission, to extract La Santera. Let's equip this new objective on the tag map. You know La Santera? All this Santeria type shit? It wakes me out. Don't tell me you believe in magic. I believe in fucking hoodoo. When I was a kid, I knew a family who did that root working. There were always powders and charms and things around the house. It's safer to believe in that than to take a chance on evil taking you. I was just saying La Santera was kind of spooky. Looks like they got a camp set up over there. The player is approaching the camp where La Santera is being held captive. He lands a short distance away to remain undetected. Since he is about to infiltrate a large camp, the player switches to a weapon with a suppressor. This can be done on the fly, or by going into Gunsmith to fully customize your weapons. With more than 60 weapons available, and over a hundred different attachments including scopes, magazines and barrels, you can create thousands of different combinations. It's up to you to find the one that fits your playstyle. Whoa, this is one stinky lake. This outpost could contain some interesting resources. However, to avoid alerting the main camp, the player continues towards the objective.
When playing solo, you'll be able to manage your three AI teammates with the command wheel. While they will adapt their actions to your playstyle, you also have four direct orders to manage them with more precision. You can tell them to regroup on you, go to a specific location, hold their position, or open fire. Hold your position. Copy that. I copy. Okay, careful guys. Hostiles have some kind of post set up out here. Deploying drone. The drone's fucked up. They're jamming us. Those boys look kind of salty. I expect Los Enteras' personal Sicarios are some of Santa Blanca's best. Who's feeling froggy? The cartel has set up a jammer in this camp, which disables the player's drone. Using the binoculars, he locates the jammer behind the barracks on the left. Let's keep the guns on low profile, gents. No need to cause a stir. Without further intel, the player will need to pay extra attention to his surroundings. He remains hidden from this patrol to avoid raising the alarm. Here's the jammer. The player waits for the patrol to leave before making his move. The drone countermeasure has been taken out. With the jammer out of commission, the player can now use his drone to recon the area a little further. Drone is airborne. Think that statue's big enough? I got another. That's five. I got eyes on an HVT. This is the camp's cartel manager. He is a source of intel that can turn into gameplay opportunities for the player. Ten sighted. Sniper up in the tower. The drone is hitting its maximum range. Time to move. The player needs to distract these two guards so he can sneak around them. This enemy could alert the rest of the camp. Let's do something creative to keep that from happening. Hostile down. Rally up, people. Copy that. Having made progress in the camp, the player brings the team forward to secure the position. Stay there. Thank you. 
The player tags the manager on his tag map to track him. Tango down. You got five seconds to tell me what I want to know. I don't get paid enough for this shit, cabron. I'll tell you. Thanks to this intel, all weapon and equipment cases in the province are now highlighted on the player's tack map. Interrogations are one of the ways to uncover intel for secondary objectives, such as supply raids or rebel ops. This is a good vantage point for the player to set up a sync shot with his teammates. Go. I copy. They respond directly to orders, but can be spotted as well, so the player needs to take this into account. Target acquired. Got the target. Target marked. The teammates can execute the sync shot on the player's command. Guys ready? Fire. The resources you gather will allow you to upgrade your player character and find new and exciting abilities. That's a kill. The player was very close to being detected, so he used a silent takedown to incapacitate the enemy. Unidad bird on patrol, watch out. This is a Unidad helicopter patrolling the area. Unidad is a military faction collaborating with the cartel. If they spot you, they will start hunting you. But there are ways to incite interfaction war between them and the cartel. Target's down. The player has now reached the upper part of the camp and is nearing La Santera's position. There are four enemies ahead of the player. This is a good opportunity to perform another sink shot. Ready, call the shot. This time, however, the player will engage the fourth target directly. Good to go. Tango's down. The experience the player earned here allowed him to level up. Switching to the skills menu, you have five different categories to customize your ghost. Using the newly earned skill point and resources, the player will unlock and equip the explosive drone. Explosive drone in the air. There's an SUV with heavy weapons and armor plating. Okay. 
Okay, eyes on target. Here she is. La Santera is heavily guarded with nearby patrols. The explosive drone is a good way to take out a group of enemies. And also to create a diversion. Our player uses the confusion to his advantage. Taking cover from heavy fire, the player ends up near a weapon case. Alarms going off. Engaging tangos. The teammates have regrouped with the player and are providing support fire. Spreading out. Frag out. Targets, right side. We can see here that the player is taking a large amount of damage. Get to cover. This playthrough is on normal difficulty level. On the highest level of difficulty, one bullet can kill the player right away. children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. You let me go, estúpido. Aquí yo soy el poder. I have power, magic, like you've never seen. We're just trying to save your life. We did all this work to get her here. It seems a shame to rescue her. Amen to that. With La Santeria in the car, all that's left is to extract her to the nearest rally point. Let's go. Roger, moving. Good to go. Let's roll. The player orders his teammates to provide cover during the escape. Taking fire. Got it. We got enemy reinforcements incoming. Boom. Tango down. Unidad troops are moving in. Santa Muerte will strike you and your progeny off the face of the earth. Worry about your own progeny. Santa Muerte's abandoned you, Bruja. Faith is its own intelligence. Tan ciegos. By the time you believe, by the time you understand, it will be too late for you. You believe that your guns give you power over death. But no one has power over Santa Muerte. And death shall have no dominion. ¿Qué? ¿Qué dijiste, idiota? Rally points up ahead. No. No! Santa Muerte, why have you forsaken me? Because you're a fucking liar, and instead of venerating Santa Morte, you tried to use her. Seems like Santa Morte rides with us now. No. This is just God and Santa Morte testing my faith. Santissima Muerte is my rock. My fortress, my deliverer. Wrap your wings around me. Protect me from the storm and bring your wrath upon my enemies. We've seen your wrath, Santera, and honestly, we're not impressed. I have done nothing wrong. Santa Muerte is my light and my way. Worshipping her is not against the law. No, but recruiting people into a criminal organization sure as fuck is. Judgment is reserved for God and Santissima Muerte. Maybe in the next life, but not here. You want to earn some absolution? What do you know about Sueño? I am no Judas. No te equivoques. I will never betray Brother Sueño. You know, people like you aren't treated very nicely in prison. Other inmates tend to make their life hell. I have the faith to survive in hell. Hmm. 
I look forward to testing that faith. Because you've never seen my hell. Well, La Santera's a barrel of laughs. I'm gonna make her my wingman next time I go bar hopping. Just don't go drinking around here. All her followers are feeling betrayed and vengeful. Good. I doubt their cult will recover from this. We're done here. Time to move on to the next objective. And that concludes this single-player walkthrough. We look forward to seeing you in the beta. Make sure you register for your chance to play at ghostrecon.com.